All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a color text portrait today. It's gonna to be similar to these in the color text portrait project, all right? These are examples of the color text portrait. And here's exactly how we, what it will look like your finished product, okay? You're gonna have little words in the background and then bigger words around them, all right? And these are beautiful examples of students' work that have done them, all right? And Shakira, we have other ones, all right? So what we do is you're gonna to go to the, uh, student work gallery you're going to go to color text portrait these are them and here's where you're going to watch the video and here's how you do this all right so let's start by opening up Photoshop all right um, once we uh, have Photoshop open we're going to go to the internet and we are going to find an image of whatever we want I will do Michael Jordan it should be at least a thousand megapixels copy the image I am now going to go into Photoshop uh, new file it's going to automatically give me the size of the file it create. Now I'll go to edit, uh, paste. There is Michael Jordan. Now I want to cut him out. So in order to cut him out, we are going to hold this down, magic wand. Oh, look, it grabs the ear over here. It's going to cut it out. So, all right, I know how to fix that. So I'm going to get super close to the ear where the issue is. And now I know how to work around that because I now know the lasso tools. You guys all know how to cut out images now so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this I just wanted to show you one real quick the design dilemma so this way you're able to cut out stuff and just a review on other ways just how to use the magic wand that's all I needed really this was the only issue right here boom and in this one I'm gonna hit delete I'm gonna back out go around to Michael Jordan I'm gonna hold this down go to the magic wand click it delete and control D, boom. Now I've got Michael Jordan set up. Next order of business. This is gonna be my color text portrait image. I'm gonna to go to uh, select in this layer of him right here. I'm gonna to go to select color range. I'm gonna hit the drop menu in here. And this is the new version of Photoshop, by the way, 23, 24. I'm gonna hit okay. I have the shadows collected. Uh, selected. I'm going to hit Control C and Control J. That puts the the image shadows in this layer. Now back here, I will call this shadows. Next one, I'm going to get the midtones. I'm going to go to Select Color Range, Drop Menu. I'm going to go to Midtones. I'm going to hit OK. Awesome. Control C, Control J. Bam. Now, shadows and midtones are right here. I will name this layer, cardinal rule, name your layers. Midtones, baby. Boom, done. Now, in the shadows layer, I am gonna go to edit, fill. I'm gonna make sure that the fill is black. And I'm gonna hit okay. I'm now gonna go into the midtones, the midtone layer. And I'm gonna go to edit, fill, and I'm going to make sure that the fill is 50% gray. I also have presume, preserve transparency, always selected. Otherwise, this is not going to work for both. Shadows and midtones, preserve transparency. Leave the opacity as is, just hit OK. Now, bam, I have the image itself all set and ready to go. Next order of business is you're going to merge these two layers into one. Here's how you do that. You could take away the background. You could easily right click and go to merge visible and now they're both one layer here's another way to do that I'm gonna back step you could also click this layer if this one background is visible you can click this layer now I've hold if I click it right hold shift I've selected both of these layers right click merge layers boom now merge layers they're both one layer all right that's the way you do that so I have this called shadows and midtones. Next order of business, I'll just call this one original, just to make sure I'm thoroughly uh, organizing my layers. Now, next order of business, let's go to file, new. Just create a brand new folder, uh, excuse me, file. All right, I've created a new file. I wanna get this stuff right here. Um, I wanna get these words that I'm gonna put in the middle. All right, these little words, not the big ones yet. I'll show you how to do those later. 
In order to do that, I went to a quote from Michael Jordan. My attitude is that if you push me towards something that you think is a weakness, then I will turn that perceived weakness into a strength. Love it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to click on the T for text. I'm going to make sure it's centered. Click, and I'm going to hit Control V. Now, the word is gigantic in here, so I'm going to click and move it over here. My attitude is everything, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go towards the end and press Enter. No problem. Let's bring it back towards the middle. All right, and let's get into the other parts. Is that press Enter, perceived. All right, let's get it Enter again. Okay, I got the words now. I want to put this backspaced a little bit into BAM. All right, I kind of like that. So now I have these are the words that I want to use. Now, you also remember from the previous project that you can highlight this stuff. You can go to Window, Character, and you can change the right here on the character box. You could also change, like, how far apart you want words to be. So 18 is too close. 48 is pretty good. I'm going to do like a 45. Enter. Boom. Uh, that's legit. I'm okay with this. Now, watch this. We're going to make this into a brush. You're actually going to turn the words into a brush. Click on the rectangular mark K tool. Highlight the words. Now that I've highlighted the words, I'm going to go to Edit. Define Brush Preset. I'm going to call this J-O-R-D-A-N-S quote. Jordan's quote. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going into my other, um, uh, how you say, uh, other projects. So we panned from two. We went from this one into this one. Again, uh, I want to emphasize something. You should have saved this. So I went to File, Save As. And I'm going to go up, and you're making a color text portrait folder at this point. After you've made that color text portrait folder, I already uh, set this file up so once, but you're going to call it color text portrait, okay? And you should be saving your work, all right? Now, on this one right here, these are my words I want to use. You know what? I want to save this because I'm going to put more words in here later. I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to make sure it's in the color text portrait. And I'm going to call it color text portrait dash text. Hit save. And now I have the text in there. So I have the text and I have the image itself. I want to put these words now on top of Michael Jordan. You can also make the brush smaller. Okay. Uh, this is a brush just like any other. I'm going to just click now. But before I do that, I'm going to make two new layers. I'm going to hit. Uh, well, first of all, you can delete the background. Now we have just these two. I'm going to make two brand new layers. One, two. Bringing them both up to the top. All right. On the one of the new layers, I am going to hit um, uh, Control Backspace. Makes it white. I'm dragging the white one all the way to the bottom. I'll call it background. All right. And this layer, this one will be inner words. In the inner words layer, I am now going to make sure that I have my brush selected. As you hit the drop menu, I have my Jordan quote here. And watch. Boom. I'm now going to write my words over Michael Jordan. Boom. And just write them. Do not overlap them because then you're not going to be able to read the words themselves. Okay? And you're going to be able to see how good you did you have done this you can now take away this bottom layer and look my words are good I overlap maybe just a little close over here but that's okay you're good now next order of business one thing I need to emphasize is that inner words need to be written in the inner words section next thing to do is to create a layer mask all right we're gonna go into the inner words and we're gonna make a mask now all right, so here's your layer mask. We're going to go into the shadows and midtones. We're going to go to select all. We're going to go to edit copy, which is control C. We're going to hold alt, click on the mask. Paste special. And paste in place. 
Now that you have it pasted in place, you're going to hit Control D and Control I. By doing that, when you take the other layer, bottom layer away, look at that. We have Michael Jordan now outlined with those those words you had. Okay, next order of business. All right, now we're going to add color to this thing. I'm going to click on the text layer of the mask layer. I'm clicking on the text. I'm going to click on effects and I'm going to go to gradient overlay. Once I've gone to gradient overlay, you're going to hit the drop menu and you'll go to screen. But inside the screen menu now, you're going to click on, listen, every one of the colors are put in folders. You can go into the basics ones. Don't do that. Uh, there's blues. There's all different types. You know what I'll do? Uh, I'll click on a really vibrant blue like this one. All right. And I'm going to hit OK. What I've done is in this layer, if I take this away, this bottom layer away, now I can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal some of me. I'm going to click back on my layer. I'm going to hit a brush, but I'm going to go to a gradient brushes. I'm going to go to a soft edge and watch how we do. I'm going to lower the size a little bit, just a little bit. I'm also going to click on the opacity. I'll make the opacity down to like a 41. Now watch this. I'm slowly now going to reveal parts of Michael Jordan's face. His eyes are a must, right? We got to come over to here. And you know what? You're slowly revealing now parts of Michael. And you also have his words. Now it's kind of good when you have things like the basketball need to be visible, right? His hands on the ball will be cool. All right, so the more you click, the better uh, it'll reveal it. You can also make the layer bigger, and you can kind of like really open up a spot like over here, right? And the top of his head, and you can open up different spots. So there, I have those words in here now. Next order of business. I'm going to go back over to this spot over here, and I'm going to put a word. I'm going to write the word love. All right, I'll take the word love. I'm going to hit control T, make it a little bit bigger just so I can see it. You know what? I'll take that. Now, guess what? You guessed it. I'm going to make a, a new brush set. I'm going to highlight this with the rectangular marquee tool. I am then going to go to edit to find brush preset. And I'm going to call it what? Love. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go back over to Michael Jordan. I have the word love here. I want love to be ginormous like this. And I'm going to make a new layer now. Make a new layer. And this one will be called Top Words. In the Top Words layer, I'm going to put the word love right on the bottom. See, I, I got some space in here. I'll put the word bam right there, love. I'm going to come back into here. And I'm going to put respect. These are all things that I associate with Michael Jordan. Right? Love, respect, passion, integrity. Right? So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to then go to uh, a different font now. I'm going to make it look like a script. Let's do something like the, like a really cool script. Respect is awesome. So I'll hit Control T. I'll make this bigger. Respect. And now I'm going to click the marquee tool. Highlight it. Boom. Edit. Define brush preset, respect, after I've hit respect, I got okay, go back into here, bam, respect can go right there, I'm alright with that, and then I'm going to put like one more word over here, which is loyalty, so I'll come and write the word loyalty, bam, loyalty, I'll take the word loyalty, I'll change the font one more time, highlight it, I kind of like the loyalty font, but I'm just going to make it like this, loyalty, I'll make another brush preset, highlighted it, boom, um, edit, define brush preset, loyalty. Loyalty's done. Now I'm going back into here and I'm going to put loyalty like right about there. So I got love, respect, loyalty, and you can put other ones. So here's how you do this now. Watch, you're going to right click, you are going to... That's how you add color to this. You right click on it, you go to copy layer style, you come over here and you go to paste layer style and boom, 
there you have it.